future Puppet News. Finally, news from a source you can trust. Puppets from the year 3000. With help from their senior time machine, they'll uncover history's most mysterious mysteries. Traveling through space and time for that hot historical scoop. Get ready for cold hard facts from warm, squishy puppets. The shiniest suits and biggest chins this side of the Nebulon Galaxy. Future Puppet News. Broadcasting the past from the future. Hello, everyone. Tonight, we ask the question, is your iPhone 753 giving you puppetitis? Find out tonight at 8. Hold on, she's saying something about puppetitis. Oh, show starting. In other news, I think I smell something delicious. And that can mean only one thing. In the kitchen with Chip. And Hamblin too. Silence, pleb. Yes, it's time for another cooking segment. Something I don't at all enjoy. No, the sizzle of hot oil, the smell of Mars spiced infused flounder sauteed to perfection beneath my masterful puppet hands. That doesn't make my heart sing. No, not at all. Of course not, Dad. I want to be a reporter, just like you told me. Oh, good gravy, what is this? There's a beast in my mise en place. That's no beast. That's my wovable Mr. Kissy Mittens. Have you been bringing your pet to work? Doesn't that violate the puppet health code? I think I gotta side with Chip on this one. Get, get out of here. Everyone knows that cats are nothing but a bunch of freeloading furballs who have brought nothing to human society but pain, sorrow, and feces. Actually, that's inaccurate, Chip. Huh? Cats and humans share a complicated symbiotic relationship. In fact, our feline friends have done quite a bit to shape the world around us. Now listen here, you uppity. <gasps> Puppet Messiah. Uh, are you two all right? Are you suffering from puppetitis? All right, everyone. Let's back up. In fact, let's back all the way up and take a look at the cold, hard cats. I, I mean, facts. Are these a bunch of careless kitties? Or have simple house cats truly changed the world? Go! <gasps> Humans have lived with domesticated cats for thousands of years. The first known domesticated cat was discovered at a burial site in Cyprus from 7500 BCE. <gasps> cats aren't native to Cyprus. And this is the first cat ever buried alongside its owner. That means this cat may have laid the groundwork for all future feline pets. Archaeological evidence also indicates that it was adorable. You know, Jackie, I may have been a little harsh earlier. In fact, I'm here in Japan. Oh! Hi, Jackie. You know, I think what my cat-hating colleague was about to say is that we're here with Maniki Niko in Japan's Edo period. Listen here, you no! The story goes that a passing nobleman saw a waving cat on the temple steps. He left this spot on the road to greet the kitten, and instantly, the spot he was standing in was struck by lightning! Hmm. Hmm. That's weird. Should be any <laughs> Nice work, Hamlin. That cat's beckoning Paul that the waving cat's becoming a symbol of wealth and good fortune around the world, including the creation of the popular Nico figure. Cats can do more than just wave. In 1739, Italian composer Domenico Scarlatti published an innovative sonata that stunned the world with its avant-garde sound. And I'm here with that sonata's ghostwriter. That's right, Scarlatti's cat Pulcinella wandered across the keys, creating what would later be known as the Cat's Fugue. Ah, music to my puppet ears. 
Do you have anything to say about your highly influential work? Modesty, the truest sign of genius. Geniuses are pretty cool, but how about popes? I'm here in Vatican City in 1826 with Maketo, favorite cat of Pope Leo XII. Maketo, which is Italian for good kitten, was Pope Leo's closest companion. The papal tailors even frequently had to mend the tears made by his adorable claws. Yeah, real adorable. Anyway, he's kind of like the Pope of Cats. That's a really big deal. That's an infallible cat in a big old hat. I'm out of here. I'd actually like to take things back a bit to the first cat. No, not the first cat, but the first cat, Tabby. Abraham Lincoln loved cats, and in 1862, he inaugurated Tabby as the first presidential cat. Come now, Tabby. Eat up. We'll be late for the play. Uh... You want a cat that really changed the world? Sure, Tabby dined with the president, but Tibbles here dined on the souls of thousands. Oh. Brought to New Zealand by human settlers in 1894, Tibbles found the island swarming with a type of flightless bird known as the Stevens Island Wren. Within a year, the wrens were gone, having fallen under the heartless machine-like claws of Tibbles. Truly chilling. Uh, I'm here with Schrodinger's cat. Or maybe I'm not. I think it was really important, but also not important at the same time. Ah, you know what? I'm getting a headache. Jackie, can you take over? Holy quantum kitty! Ah! London, 1989. Ten... Downing Street. The residence of England's Prime Minister would be overrun with rats were it not for the work of one brave cat, and that very cat stands beside me. Humphrey served under three successive administrations, keeping a clean house and a warm lap. But as is always with politics, his tenure was not without scandal. I say. This cat is innocent of the accused bird murder. He was ill at the time and could not possibly have committed the crime. If the kit mitten does not fit, ladies and gents, you must acquit. If you want to hear about a cat that took a bite out of politics, I'm here to tell Cat in Alaska in 1997 on the eve of election night. And yes, yes, what's coming in? That's right, I can now confirm that Stubbs the Cat has been elected mayor of the actual city of Telkatna. The mayor, Stubbs served as goodwill ambassador for the town, drawing in travelers to visit Telkatna and also scratch his tummy. Yes, Stubbs was a trailblazer, changing the world forever as a feline politician holding honorary elected office for more than a decade. Good mayor. See, Jackie, he likes me. I don't see Hamlin befriending any of these historical cats. In fact, where is Hamlin? All uncertainty of existence! Well, I'll tell you one thing I'm certain of. This is the best meal to ever tickle these taste buds. Well, I think the lesson here was really more about cats. Of course, and this is the best cat. Cats, I love them, not at all horribly allergic. <laughs> Must look pretty good now, huh? Between you and me, I think we got a lot in common. Meh, I'm really more of a dog person. Huh? Oh, no, Chip, no. Whatever the lesson was, I'm sure we all learned it. Especially Hamlin. Where is Hamlin? Sing! Well, folks, it looks like this show has come to its feline finish. I hope you learn that these furry little beasts are more than animal companions. They're something wonderful. A fellow species, helping shape the world around... Oh! Oh! Mr. Kissy Mittens! Oh! No! Oh, no! Watch out! He's got a whisk, and it's loaded! Oh, God! He's coming for me! Play the music! Play the music! Ah! Oh!
Oh, this must be the end card. <clears throat> so pancake, subscribe. And to watch more future puppet news, click over there.